Hello everybody, this is one video introduction to the latest DFSRP Seagate firmware repair tool. Now this is a hardware. User can connect two SATA Seagate SATA hard drives and one Seagate ID hard drives to this hardware. So users can work on three Seagate hard drives at the same time. To work with the Seagate hard drives, users need to connect the COM cable using the right COM connector, the Seagate COM connector. If you use the wrong con COM connector, you cannot work with the drive at all. So, uh, users need also to connect the hard drive COM uh, power cable and the hard drive data cable. Okay, so after you have connected this one, then go to the Seagate firmware repair program. Now I have just uh, connected one Seagate hard drive to the SATA 0 channel. Click, select the SATA 0 channel, click OK to enter the program and power on the hard drive. So, you just need to wait until the drive gets detected. Now, the DRD and the DSC status registers are on. That means the drive is get detected. Now, you can scan the bad sectors here. You can try to scan it and find out if there are some bad sectors or if the data error by the scanning is accessible or not. Okay, so uh, the data error is ac accessible. You can then stop the scanning and create this interface. Now you can click the start icon to enter the main program. Here, users can select the hard drive family, the old hard drive of Seagate F3 hard drive. Now I have connected one new Seagate F3 hard drive and I obtain the details. Here is COM, uh, COM port to select. You can find, find out the COM number from the device manager. Uh, my PC, uh, click the device manager then here the ports here COM7 so I'm now using COM7 you need to select the right COM port to work with okay here then I click OK now the program is detecting and reading the hard drive ID information and list them out including the also the firmware information uh, the capacity the firmware modules and all the related ID information. Here users can find within the uh, center the four parts, NOX windows, the COM mode window. Here users can work on the hard drives and repair the failures by the COM commands. Users can open the COM port and uh, then control Z to enter the F3 T prompt. Here then users can input the commands. For example, I input V4 T and then I view the ng list with this command. So users can input other commands to work with the hard drives as well. Here users can add the common commands used within this menu and it's very easy then to use them. You just need to uh, view the common commands you have added and then uh, click them. For example, show P, right? So the program uh, will execute your command you have clicked or you have inputted in the COM terminal mode. So it's very easy. You just wait until the commands to be excluded by the program. Here is the module list. For Figure F3, uh, the important modules are lot, a lot, a lot, just uh, two are very important. One is the module 3, the playlist. The other one is the module 2B, the translator module. So the last uh, section in the middle is the hex value. This is the hex view of the data arrow. So the four section is very easy. It still views the playlist because playlist has contained a lot of defects. That's the permanent, permanent defects. So you just need to be patient with this one to be Exclude it. Okay, so let's check what other functions are included within the Seagate firmware repair program. 
Some function works uh, under the ATA and the COM mode, and some function works on works with the COM mode only. Let's check one. COM setting. We can open the work directory. For example, if you are trying to read or write some formal modules, you can then uh, open the working directory directory. You can set the working directory first and then you can open it up directly. It's very convenient by this one. General functions. So actually these functions are not uh, often used but just for uh, test on the hard drives for experienced users. Here this one is mostly uh, common commonly used the Seagate uh, common firmware free finish. Users just need to make sure the drive goes to the F3T prompt and then you can click the uh, accordingly the fix solution then to fix the failure. Here's the security means you can users can remove the password or set the password. Here's the set max BA. This one means it works with the ATM mode. Users can open the COM port and then you can find the Cinemax LBA is available, is enabled. And LBA2CH, this one is very useful too. When you try to scan some bad sectors and you find bad sector LBA number, then you can write down the LBA number and convert it to the head. So this one is very... We can input other LBA value to convert convert the LBA to the head number so this one is very useful to use so we can also check users can read write ROMs and and also to read write the ROM adaptive modules and uh, read ROM by module and operate on the modules tracks as say write common firmware reset firmware reset formula say the SYS files operation auto users can view reset smart clear defect list and work on the transmitters format this Erase sectors, bad sector repair. These are for the F3. So this one is very useful. A lot of functions are ha are included within this secret firmware repair too. Remember, it's always you know suggested uh, to connect the COM cable with the secret hard drive. Then you can input the commands and use the common solutions here. So for secret hard drives the most important are the commands. Or uh, uh, the the way to make the drive accessible to the COM terminal. Because only if you have entered the COM terminal you can you know you can uh, enter the commands. Otherwise, you cannot enter or input any command to fix the hard drive. Well, thank you for watching this video.